Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel where we are participating in Croctober. Today I'm going to make kind of like a peach dump cake in a crock pot, but I'm going to doctor the recipe a little bit. First, you're going to need two cans of peaches. I have a one big can of peaches and then a smaller can of peaches sliced. The original recipe tells you to do this basically this the cake mix and the butter on top of the cake mix and that's it i'm gonna add some ingredients and kind of play with this recipe a little bit and see how it goes so we're gonna start with the peaches i'm gonna drain them in the original recipe you drain one can you keep one can i'm gonna drain them i'm gonna add a little bit of butter to the peaches about half a stick cubed i'm gonna add some vanilla cinnamon brown sugar and heavy whipping cream Kind of going for like a peaches and cream kind of vibe here then i'm gonna pour the cake mix on top like you're supposed to and then you chop up a stick of butter and put that on top of the cake mix and then it says cook it on high for two to four hours so i guess we'll check back in about three hours and kind of see how it's looking but uh let's get started and let's hope that turns out good i will leave the measurements for everything that i do down in the description box I'll leave the original recipe in case you want to try the original recipe, but then I'll also leave it the way I fix it if it tastes good. <laughs> if it doesn't taste good, then we live and learn. That's the best part of being in the kitchen is just playing around with recipes, seeing what works and what doesn't work. And sometimes you find an amazing win and sometimes it's a, it's a major fail. So let's get started. <music> All right guys, so that is done. It's gonna hopefully be a really good peaches and cream dump cake in the crock pot. I did add the vanilla to the heavy whipping cream so it would be easier to pour it kind of all over. So we will be back in a little bit to try this and let you know how it goes. Smells pretty good, it's ready. So we're gonna get ready to taste it. We're back. It's been about four hours, I think, since I started this. Um, cooked it on high, and we are ready to taste it. Okay, we hot? Is that hot? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Very hot. It's the whole tea like crazy. It's not the fruit. That is the cake. It's not bad. Mm -mm. It's really good. I think it would taste really good with some homemade whipped cream. Mm. Some vanilla ice cream with it. Mm -hmm. What would you rate it? I think I'd rate it a four. Four? Maybe even a four and a half. Yeah, I'd say a four. Tastes really good. Yeah, it's really good. I'm glad I doctored it up a little bit and added some stuff to it. I'll leave both recipes down below in the description box. I'll leave the original recipe and then I'll also leave the recipe how I did it. I think it's very good. I think this would be something easy to make if you're having a gathering or something as a fun little dessert. Put some homemade Cool Whip with it or some vanilla ice cream and be good to go. I also think it would be good to make with apples as well. Mm -hmm. No. So, thank you guys uh, so much for watching, and we'll see you for our next Crocktober video. Bye, guys. Bye.